Hello, my name is Ted Smith. This video is a brief clip of information that I've written in my book, Hempology 101, The History and Uses of Canada Sativa. And so uh, today's talk is on the history of hemp, which is fascinating. And uh, certainly um, the history of America and hemp is even more fascinating. And uh, there is a just really intense history between the cannabis plant and the founding of America physically in some ways as well. I talked about canvas being on the sailing ships that brought most of the peoples to the Americas, you know, 500 years ago in the 16, 1700s, 1800s even. You know, a lot of the boats bringing people over were sailing boats and used the, the canvas, right? But it was also canvas that was on the covered wagons that brought people through the Americas into the West as well. And so in many ways, you know, physically the rope and the, the cloth was really important to the farmers and, and the founding of America physically. But the other really important product that hemp is good for is paper. And so I have some beautiful hemp paper here. And it's to be certain that there is a lot of hemp being grown in America for paper. Uh, when the um, printing press was first made and the Bible started getting pumped out, that was all on hemp paper. And actually, I think I have a correction I need to make, but a lot of others do. In my book, I state that the Declaration of Independence of the United States was written on hemp paper. Um, that is something that is reported by Jack Hare and many other hemp activists. Unfortunately, recently that uh, has been debunked and apparently when uh, those types of documents were made they used very special paper, a kind of parchment paper that uh, doesn't contain any hemp and so that is something that in my book and many other hemp uh, books as well is, is an inaccuracy that I, I think I'll need to correct in the next edition. But certainly all the other paper at the time for the most part was made almost entirely out of hemp if not mostly out of hemp and so uh, to be sure, hemp was you know highly sought after because it was you know used for so many different purposes, which is why you know when America you know separated from Britain, they started making a whole bunch of tariffs for hemp that was coming in from other countries because they didn't want cheap hemp from other countries because uh, there were some places it was coming in cheaper. Uh, Russian hemp was incredibly cheap, certainly. Uh, their labor was very cheap. And even though a lot of the hemp being grown in America was grown uh, with slaves, um, it was still very expensive to, to do so. And, and so um, it seems like there was other places that uh, the hemp um, was, was coming from cheaper at times. But in the early 1800s, hemp was, you know, probably on, on a global scale, the most used plant uh, of, of any kind. And uh, it's no wonder it was so important to the founding of America, physically and financially, and, and in so many other ways. And I'll have to get to that in the next video. And so uh, we'll, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel um, or follow our Cannabis Digest blogs, we have daily blogs, and I put this and a lot of other information in the blog, certainly. Or you can buy the textbook. Campology.ca is where you can find our store and buy the textbook from us. And I uh, hope to see you uh, following us around or check out Facebook, whatever you like. Thanks and have a great day.